this episode, we're going to look at what it takes to use the request.remoteIP and then be able to restrict pages based on the IP address. So we would basically have a whitelist that would say whenever you go to a certain page that it would require a IP address to match the records in a database. And one scenario where I've used this was in an application where certain pages were restricted to a certain list of IP addresses in addition to the user's role. While the list of IP addresses could have been hard-coded into the application, this meant that any changes to this list would require a deployment. Instead, we opted to have a table that would store all of the allowed IP addresses, and the application would authorize the user based on the whitelist table. So if your application is a utility and you want it only to be accessible within your company network, however, the company network could span across multiple sites. You may have some employees working from home and you want them to have access to it as well. Then you are able to put it within your application controller. And this would be a pretty much a site-wide protection. So in this example, we would look at doing a before action and then we'll just call in a private method verify IP address. And then we can create our private method. And this is just going to be a method where we are checking against the database to see if the user has access to this application. And so within this method, we can basically call something like head unauthorized if, and then we would want to look up something from our whitelist. And so within our terminal, we can go ahead and create our model with rails generate model. And then we can call whitelist and then we would just want to add a IP address string and then also call index on here because we are going to be searching this table from our IP addresses. If you do have a lot of IP addresses, you would want to make sure that that column is indexed. And then be sure to run regdb migrate. Back in our application controller, we can then say if the whitelist find by IP address dot 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 is nil. And with this, we need to pass in a parameter where we can have the user's IP address. And the easiest way to do this is just calling request.remoteIP. However, if you are on a local network, then it might show a local address. Or if the application is running on your local machine, then you would see 127001. And then go into our browser to the restricted page. You'll see that it just renders out a blank page. However, if you look at the Rails logs, you'll see that the request did complete. However, a 401 unauthorized was returned. So instead of calling head unauthorized, if you do want to give the user some kind of display that their action was unauthorized, you could just do something like this, where you still find if the query is nil, and if it is, then that IP address was not in the table, and then you can redirect to the root path, alerting the user that it was unauthorized access. And if you do that, you'll want to make sure that you come into the controller, which has the root path, and you would call a skip before action, verify IP address, only index. So if our index was the root path, you would want to make sure that the user has access to this page. So going back and refreshing now, you can see that it loads up the page. However, if we go to a restricted page, then we'll get our unauthorized access. And if your application doesn't require you to restrict every single page, if you want to do it on just a certain few actions, then we can remove this before action in our application controller. And instead, on the specific action that we would call, so for example, in our welcome controller, we have our before action verify IP address, and then we would call only restricted. So this way, we're not checking the IP address every single call that's made to our application. Instead, we would only check it whenever someone is accessing the restricted page. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. For more videos, check out driftandruby.com.